I'm Miss Karim. Welcome to Wonderstamp. We have been exploring and discovering lots of patterns in numbers and some interesting tools and games and shapes that are all related to the times tables and to oh, many, many branches where numbers and the world and beauty, it all comes together. Today, I want to um, work with this multiplication circle, which I sometimes call a magic circle, and you'll see why in just a moment. Here we have the number 0 through 9. So there are 10 points equally spaced on the circle. And today we're working with the 7 times table, which is maybe not the easiest one, but it's also very, very much in our grasp. So but this is a tool that can help us as we practice and practice, because that is the best way to, to have these numbers, these multiples of seven in our memory, forwards and backwards and out of order. So you can find this printout. I can give you the, um, the link below in, in the description of the video. The number that we're looking at is really representing the ones place. So let's have a quick look here. We have the multiples of seven, which are the numbers that are in the seven times table, right? So if I say three times seven is 21, so 21 is a multiple of seven. Here is my list. And we can keep this handy if, if we need a bit of, of help with our memory. It's not quite there yet. That's okay. The, the numbers that we're looking at are in the ones place. So we remember these are the the digits on the right. So we're starting with zero. Zero is not here, but we're poor zero. He gets ignored sometimes. We start at zero and we're going to draw a straight line that takes us to seven, right? We can sometimes guide us with our fingers. So we go from seven and then two times seven and we find it here. That's 14. So we try to make a straight line, 14. Three times seven, is 21. 4 times 7 is 28. Now if I stopped and asked you, oh my, what shape is this? You would say, Miss Karin, this is a completely random shape. But patience, patience. We might discover something. Where were we? 5 times 7, 5 times 7 is 35. So we're not looking at the tens, we're looking at the ones. 35. Six times seven, so 35 plus seven, is 42. And seven times seven is 49, 49. And that you might recognize as a square number. And you'll see I have these squares here because we were talking about square numbers. We were discovering many things about an interesting character called Sir Square, but I will not say more. We are c continuing here with this shape. 49 is a square number, and what is the next one? 8 times 7 is 56. 56. Straight line. We're almost there. We have two more. 9 times 7. 9 times 7 is 63. 9 times 7 is 63. We go from 56 to 63. And the last one is 10 times 7, 70. <laughs> there is a shape that has been revealed. Oh, behold, there is a shape linked to the 7 times table living inside this multiplication circle. Let's first trace it again as we admire the beauty, the beauty of this shape. And as you go over, now I said 70 was the last number, but that's not quite true because I could keep going. I could keep going 77, 84, and I can keep going until, until infinity.
beautiful. I know I've written seven X, the seven times table, because believe it or not, different times tables reveal different shapes. So this is a very good tool to keep practicing. Once you know the shape, then this gives you a little hint. So maybe I don't remember if after 50, what comes after 56, but I know that it goes to something ending with three, so it must be 63. And that's how it can help us. So my question to you is, how many points, how many points does this shape have? And if you count them, it has 10 points. And 10, 10, the prefix, how do you say a collection of 10 years? A period of 10 years, a decade decade. So in geometry, this 10 pointed star is called a decagram. Deca is the Greek prefix, the start of the word for 10, because it has 10 points. Some students have told me, oh, Miss Karin, it looks like a, a sun. It's a special kind of star. And whatever you think it looks like, I invite you to add some color, some vibrant color to the different parts that are inside this decagram. Well, here is my decagram colored in with three different colors, bright ones and happy ones. And I imagine that yours is, is also colorful. So I hope you had some fun today discovering how the geometry of the seven times table is living inside of this magic circle. There is a lot more to discover. So come with me on the journeys such as Imagine Math and multiplication and movement. You can find out more information and thank you for stopping by my channel, which is Wonderstand. See you next time.